feel very icy outside because it's very cold, but at least we've had a day filled with a lot of sun, but the numbers oh, they are frigid 33 right now. The high today in at 35 and our low this morning was 13 degrees. I'm sure you felt that as a matter of fact, it's the coldest morning we've had so far this winter season. Going back to November, we did have a really cold snap at the end of November right after Thanksgiving. It dipped to 19. That had been the coldest temperature we'd had this season, which technically was in the fall. 13 this morning though, there you see some of the other numbers. By the way, today's 13 is the coldest temperature since Christmas of 2022. The day before Christmas, December 24th, we had actually dropped to five degrees. Also today, this morning is the 29th coldest temperature we've had since year 2000. So again, we've had some cold ones, but this ranks in the top 30 so far in this a decade in this or this century. As we look at the, what's going on outside with the temperatures this morning, 13 in the triad, 10 in Reedsville, 14 degrees this morning in North Wilkesboro, four degrees up there in most of those mountain locations that report hourly. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s for our current readings now and outside satellite radar shows that we're nice and clear, but satellite also shows something else. It looks like a bunch of cloud cover out here, but that's not cloud cover. Notice it does not move like what you see in the north is moving over some snow cover. This is all snow cover from north western parts of Mississippi, northern Alabama, back through Tennessee, back into southwest Virginia and our mountains. And even though we don't see a lot in our mountains, Beach Mountain got 15 inches of snow out of this. As a matter of fact, the snow today is only 42 miles away from the heart of the triad on the ground in parts of Patrick County. That's the closest snow on the ground to the triad. Temperatures outside uh, this evening are going to be dropping back into the 20s and overnight we'll see temperatures getting right around 20 in the cities with some teens in the rural areas. High pressure on the mapping control, but there's a storm system coming our way and it looks again like most of the moisture is going to be very light and any chances of snow are very, very small because as the moisture comes in, there's a little wave of moisture coming in tomorrow evening around 930 that shows it falling as snow but it's most likely going to be Virga, which is snow falling on the radar and drying up and evaporating before it gets to the ground. You might see a stray flurry make it through. Then the next round that moves through is showing up mostly as green because the temperature just above the ground warms up and just as it gets cold enough, we dry out. That's the cold air chasing the moisture. We usually don't get that to work out for us. 56 at the beach for tomorrow and 58 degrees coming up on Friday. The mountains will see rain tomorrow and a chance of some snow showers Friday in 31. Our forecast in the Piedmont 27 degrees at 8 o'clock tonight. Overnight we're back to 20 degrees tomorrow. A little milder back to 45 clouds will start to come back and as we look at the next seven days partly cloudy on Friday and 45 down to 17 30 for the high Saturday back down to 14 and then we start to recover next week 52 and 57 with rain chances coming in by Wednesday.